I don't really, I don't really like feel that I'm the oldest unless they call me like uh, grandpa or something. But <laughs> happens sometimes. Hi guys, this is Tom reporting from the LEC, and with me here is Vendor, the support player of Rogue. How are you doing, man? Um, hey, we just won, so happy, happy about it, and uh, just chilling. Yeah, um, it was quite a stomp against uh, Schalke. Was that expected? Um, kinda, yeah. But I was a bit stressed today before the match. Not sure oh. why. Mm. So yeah, I mean, we we're confident we can win. Um, but yeah, I was stressed for some reason. Not sure why. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you why, but you know, you you weren't sure. Was it maybe uh, getting back to the stage after the break, or? Honestly, I don't know. I think sometimes it just happens randomly that. For some games, I'm I'm a bit stressed, and for some, like for most of them, I'm actually not at all. Mm. Um, so yeah. Oh well, happens, right? <laughs> um, this interview, I actually want to talk to you about your role uh, within Rogue, and I'm not talking about being a support player because uh, it's obvious to everybody what you do in, in for the team in that regard, but mostly as well the oldest player, the veteran on the team, and somebody. Um, who has been in League of Legends the longest uh, of all these players. So, playing with these players, do you ever notice that you are the oldest player on the team? Mm, honestly, honestly not, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, some, I mean, for sh I wouldn't say all this, I would say that uh, I like to have a voice in the team and I like to make sure everyone knows what he's doing and what we are doing as a team mm -hmm. uh, so often i will try to put everyone on the same page even though it might be a bit annoying sometimes to the people right like i will ask maybe too many questions or uh, <laughs> stuff like this um but i don't really i don't really like feel that i'm the oldest unless they call me like uh, grandpa or something but <laughs> happens sometimes Right, but it's not that in when you're playing the game or something like that, you don't notice a difference in approach or something. Uh, what do you mean? Oh uh, well, as in you know, sometimes these younger players may get a bit too excited when they play or when they win, um, but that's not something that happens at Rogue. I mean, we all do. I would say we all do a uh, fair bit of excitement. So. Mm -hmm. um, Today, for example, they kind of got excited, especially Inspire, he was playing the bear and he was fed. Um, <laughs> but I guess I also do it sometimes. So um, I think we we we, we match well, like personality-wise, personality and we, yeah, we're like good friends, I would say. Yeah, yeah, that's something I've noticed overall whenever any of you uh, speak either on the LSE broadcast or in an interview about the team. It seems like the team really has found um, a good dynamic and, and a good synergy between all the the players is that something you've experienced in other teams before um i would say when i was playing in my first team in polish uh, rocket uh we also had a really good synergy there actually and we uh, this team had a lot of fights in polish team. it was like ah. five years ago right so the scene was way different we were basically like flaming uh, each other all the time <laughs> and uh, like fighting mm. uh but it uh we we knew how to solve the issues. I guess it's also different culture, like five Polish guys. Um, we sometimes have to take uh, things in our hands, <laughs> in our own hands, and uh, solve it this way. Um, but yeah, I would say this team comes like very close to what we had back then in terms mm -hmm. of uh, a, a synergy. Uh, I would say and like people willing to change their play styles for for the for the team or for others, right? Because. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like we are perfect and everyone can do anything. Uh, everyone has like his own struggles, but I think uh, others are willing to cover for them in some areas. Right. So, so that's really nice. Yeah. So it's uh, like uh, players being willing to lose a matchup uh, or lose their lane if it benefits the other team uh, player. Yeah, you can say this. I would I would more like say playstyle wise, but oh, okay. it's also true. Right. Yeah. So they would sacrifice their way of playing to uh, elevate uh, another team member in that sense yeah gotcha you mentioned uh, sometimes that uh, in the roca team you the polish players had to take matters into their own hand or something <laughs> or something along those lines what do you mean by that i mean it was just like we we're a crazy team right and uh, ah. back then i mean we had a coach but he was not always with us and the kind of coaching uh, power was uh, 
way less than it is now mm. and the organizations were not that uh, invested into seeing what team does on a daily basis so uh, we're pretty much just uh, like ruining the team and uh, that's why there was like a lot of uh, arguments I would say because ah, okay. there was uh, rarely someone who could uh, like tone us down right mm-hmm. and that that's not something that that's specifically you would say it's like a, maybe you know a Polish culture in League of Legends that you have this uh, stronger voice but just generally in League of Legends at that time uh, people just had to take uh, charge themselves more um yeah i would say so i mean there was like no coaches back then we had the uh, veggie he was a really good coach but he couldn't be always with us so when he was there it was better but when he was not it was uh, uh quite chaotic i would say right but we we somehow made it work like when the official games were coming we we knew how to play with each other and i feel it's uh a bit like this in this team as well that sometimes in screams or in practice we troll a bit and some people don't try hard mm-hmm. uh, and do silly mistakes but when uh, official games come uh, those mistakes are not there anymore and they, they know what to do and ho- hopefully it will stay this way Yeah, I, in, in official games and yeah. we can <laughs> improve the practice a little bit, right? Right, uh, because you'd rather see your players perform seriously in screens as well or are you fine with the trolling? I mean, you know, the most important are the stage games, of course, uh, but uh, if we don't take screams seriously for like longer time, it might backfire a lot so we mm-hmm. for sure have to put some more emphasis on it oh yeah gotcha so the second uh, major topic i want to talk on is, is is linked to this and also to the polish team because you have um another polish player on your team inspired and he's a relatively young player and um, although he's playing incredibly well you wouldn't say it by by his play definitely um do you have any like maybe special connection with him on the team because he's also polish yeah I mean, for sure, we sometimes it's like different, right? We have, we both speak Polish, and I think we kind of. I feel like he trusts me in a lot of matters. I mean, sometimes he thinks what I do or like how I play is bad. <laughs> he, <laughs> he tells me that, um, but uh, yeah, I think we kind of trust each other that if something is important to do, we both will uh, um, do it, right? And we. Um, that we will, I mean, when the time comes, we both will play well. I think we trust each other in this way. And sometimes um, when he has, let's say, uh, struggles towards someone in the team, he thinks someone like doesn't follow his play style too well or he does mistakes and then he gets punished in the jungle by it, then I try to kind of talk to him about it and like, calm him down and explain why some stuff happened, right? Because uh, mm, it's easier for me, I guess, to see it since yeah. I'm more experienced. Yeah, it sounds like he's almost a bit of a younger brother to you in that sense. Uh, I guess, I guess, I think you could actually put it this way. Mm. I, I would, I would say so. Yeah, I, I, that, that that is definitely a special connection, right? To have with somebody on team that you you, you care so much about a player that you really. Okay, to okay. I don't care about him as much as I would <laughs> um, care about my younger brother. <laughs> 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 but our relationship is sometimes like this. Uh, yeah, it's like okay. we have a lot of fun together, and uh, uh, yeah, sometimes I have to calm him down. Mm-hmm. Do you um, see yourself as maybe a mentor to him then in that role as well? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm like his mentor or uh, like teacher or anything. I'm just uh, trying to help him a little bit and guide him a little bit. bit. Right. He, I mean, he think is uh, most league players at the uh, highest level are like, really cocky. Uh, as persons, so they all, all, almost always want to experience something uh, by themselves, right? So it's hard to prevent them from making, let's say, same mistakes as you did in the past, stuff like this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to help him, but uh, he often does his own thing, and then, yeah, then he realizes if it's good or not. Right. It's a, well, you have to fall uh, in order to get better, right? If you never experience any setbacks, then how are you going to improve? I suppose. I guess so. I mean, not every player was like this, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it's often like that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, to you know to round up the interview, um, this rogue team is playing like a coherent squad at the moment, and it seems like you guys are all on the same wavelength, and uh, which is definitely a big improvement from the spring split, where sometimes you guys would be on the same line, and other times it would you know be a bit chaos, and everybody was kind of doing their own thing. Um, how how do you think this rogue team synergy 
can still improve. Um, is do you guys uh, still have room for improvement there? Uh, I mean, of course, there's a lot of stuff we can improve. I'm not sure the synergy wise. I think this like uh, is pretty good mm -hmm. um, at this point. Um, I think we know how to play as a team and. Uh, uh, that's good. I think it's just harder for us when, uh, let's say, people give us more troubles uh, individually in learning phases and in early game, then it can kind of mm, collapse in a way for us. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we against the worst teams, I'm pretty confident we can win any game. Uh, but as it was in Spring Split, uh, the top teams give us a bit more trouble, uh, which is uh, obvious in some way because they are uh, just better than other teams, right? Um, but we beat uh, like Fnatic Origin this, this first half, which uh, kind of uh, gives us a lot of confidence going into second uh, half of the split. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully we can do at least 7-2 as well, right, in the, in the remaining games. All right, man. I want to thank you so much for your time and best of luck in the rest of the split as well. Yeah, thank you and uh, have a good evening.